And our first speaker is Alexa Ain, who is the Vice President of Sisters on the Runway, a domestic violence awareness organization. Let's hear it for Alexa. Hello, my name is Alexa Ain, and I'm a senior here in the Schreier Honors College, double majoring in political science and labor employment relations. I'm here today to talk to you about diversity and inclusion at Penn State. It's kind of a personal story to my heart, so hopefully you can take a little tidbit of it and apply it to your next, whether you have six months here, if you're a senior graduating in May, or if you have three and a half years here, if you're lucky enough to be a freshman. So my story actually starts my senior year of high school. I had no idea where I wanted to go to college, all over the board, 2,000 students to 40,000. And it wasn't until a college counselor sat me down, like Maggie said earlier, that she said you can make a big school small, but you can't make a small school big. And I landed on Penn State and signed up for the first admitted student's day I could. This is actually my acceptance letter on my kitchen table. Um, I've kept it to this day. And I signed up for the first admitted student's day and I showed up here in mid-March. And it was a cold day, gloomy Friday. And I'm sure a lot of you don't think you're joyous on your walk to your 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., but I could feel the community here. And it was something that I wanted to be a part of. Penn State's obviously known for academics and sports, but I wanted to be here for the community and for what I could get involved in. It wasn't until, though, a few weeks later that I was sitting at my kitchen table with my dad, and I looked at him and I said, do you think I'll fit in there? Do you think Penn State's the place for me? Do you think everybody will be okay with me? And he looked up from the newspaper he was reading, and without skipping a beat, he said, they accepted you at your high school, why wouldn't they there? And I looked up, nodded, and went back to doing what I was doing. And as I'm sure some of you have guessed by now, there was a reason I asked that question, and it's because I'm a little different than most. I happen to have achondroplasia dwarfism, making me shorter than most, and what it means is when I'm sitting in a chair, I'm looking at you in the eye, but when I stand up, I have half your leg and half your arm. And the only time it really affects my day-to-day -day life at Penn State is when I'm in line for a hub salad and I need help getting something. Other than that, it's been pretty good. However, my senior year, something came up that definitely made me think about how I wanted to tell my story. It's not something I talk about often. So, in September, a local establishment downtown decided to host an event titled Midget Wrestling. Now, a lot of people might not know this, but that's an incredibly offensive term to someone who happens to have dwarfism. It comes from a bug called a midge, and it's a small bug, and throughout time it's evolved in pop culture to the word midget. And this made me upset. I was scrolling through my Twitter feed and ended up seeing posts about it from the night beforehand, and I didn't know exactly what to do, and I wanted to see if the administration would respond. Penn State's been really quick in the past year and a half to make sure they stand up for diversity and inclusion, saying, we all belong here. We are here for you. You should feel at home here. And that night, I checked my email. I didn't see anything. The next day, nothing. And I decided I wanted to take action. I actually thought back to ancient Egypt, funny enough. This is an Egyptian god named Ptah, and he was treated like royalty back in Egypt. So every time I hear the midget word, I end up thinking about this and saying, we should go back to ancient Egypt. I think they had it right then. Just a little light humor for kind of a heavy topic. But I ended up getting the administration, the borough council, and some student leaders together to start the conversation about why this event was occurring. Why did nobody stand up and say, this isn't okay? Or how did this get past somebody? And what a lot of people in the room agreed upon was that the event shouldn't be occurring, but they didn't know why it shouldn't be occurring. How can we stop this? And we needed that conversation to start. Thankfully, a few weeks later, the administration even responded in an email when talking about diversity and inclusion about the event, bringing it up. We were able to get the event name changed to Little Mania. I spoke to Little People of America, the national organization, about this, and they haven't been able to do that in five years for some of these events. And we were able to do it in a semester because of conversations with everyone getting involved. Like I said, though, the event will be occurring next week, unfortunately. And while change occurs in waves and not as a tsunami, it's not enough. So I was able to get a student leaders together and write a letter that we will be submitting to the administration and to the borough about this event, that it shouldn't be occurring, because we are all Penn State, and we all deserve to feel included here. And so how I want to tie my talk together is with this quote. It's not four years, it's for life. And when I heard this as a freshman and sophomore, I'd roll my eyes. 
okay guys, we'll come back as alumni, football game or two, maybe my kids will come to Penn State, I get it. But today, this quote means so much more to me than that. It means that you can have an impact here in your four years or however long you're on this campus and really make a difference for a student that, won't even, that hasn't even gotten here yet. In four years, a student will be able to come to this campus and have no idea that this event occurred. Whether they have dwarfism, a mental illness, or another social stigma, they won't have to feel that exclusion, which is incredibly powerful. This really changed the way I interacted with this campus. Having my friends discuss this openly with me, being there for me, and wanting to start the conversations, not only with me, but within their own groups who had heard about the event, is powerful. You can have real impact on this campus, even just through a little conversation, and you might not know it. Something to think about when you go about your next six months here, or three and a half years, how can you Think about something that you're doing before it happens and make your campus a little bit more inclusive. Something to think about today. I know the speakers here have been talking about it all day, how you can make a change. It'd be really cool to talk about. Thank you.